All right, just showed up to my buddy Carl's house. He said he just got new exhaust and he's gonna wait for me to install it. He's already almost done. He's what? I'm everybody that you got new exhaust and that you're waiting for me to come to wait for me to install it. Waiting for you to install it for me? Yeah. Yeah. And it looks like you looks like he waited. It's perfect. Oh, thank you. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. That looks so we got to start it here in a minute and run it for 15 minutes. 15 minutes? And let all this, the gaskets in here heat up and then we tighten them down again. Ah, okay. And it doesn't tell you no torque specs or nothing, which is kind of shit. No torque specs? No torque specs. What the hell? Hello. What's going on, Debbie? It just says, uh, install. Where's install? That's what just it says. Install. What's it? No, you're good? What's so, up? You're recording. What happened? I'm not good. <laughs> You are here just in time. Did you see your new sticker? Yeah. Did you see your new sticker? You like it? Did you already put it on there? Well, he put one right there. Hey, look at that. Esposa. All right. So, while we're figuring out how to install this thing, I'm just going to mute the audio here and kind of tell you what's going on because I suck at introducing the video and telling y'all exactly what's going on. So, what we got here is the new RJWC APX AL exhaust and um, Carl got it for his 2017 Razor Turbo 1000 XP and man this thing's beautiful look at that build quality it's nice and uh, right there just showing a little standoffs or whatever it is and everything on this on this exhaust but um so we got this from our buddy North Country Boys and he's a dealer for RJWC so if y'all need any RJWC's uh, make sure to hit him up and also later on in this video, we're going to be putting a stage three tune on Carl's Razor with a uh, Dynajet, which again we got through North Country Boys. So if you need something like that, make sure you hit him up. I'll put his email address up on the screen. So if y'all need y'all need anything, tell him that uh, tell him that Swamp Ass sent you, and uh, see if he can hook you up with any any deals or anything. I don't know, but um, yeah, talk to him if if you need any art, any exhaust or anything. So just just hit him up. It looks a little crooked, buddy. What are you going to do to it? How are you going to fix it? Well, we're just, just, just going to look ugly the entire just time. Just an observation. It's crooked. It's just going to look ugly. There it is right there. What's going on there, buddy? You excited? Are we going to turn this on tomorrow? It's too late, right? <laughs> My neighbors love me, dude. <laughs> it's black outside. Sound test. One, sound two. Test. Hold on. Sound test. And Carlos, What's up? that is not crooked. I know. I was just trying to mess with you. It's perfectly straight. It's not crooked, man. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys Alright, so this is the RJWC APX AO exhaust for the 2017 Polaris Razor. Again, the poor planning on my part. I forgot to give you all the stock sound test of the exhaust for the Razor. Um, Carl recorded this for me, so the quality isn't the best. And he's got his fat fingers in the screen. But it's okay. We can deal with it. This will be the factory Razor Turbo sound test. <laughs> All right, so this is the RJWC APX AO exhaust for the 2017 Polaris Razor. So the exhaust, as you can tell, it sounds pretty damn good and clean. But as you'll see from this next clip, Carl wasn't too impressed. Um, he has an RJWC on his... Polaris Sportsman 1000 high lifter and that thing sounds nasty like it is awesome it's freaking savage it's it just sounds savage here I'll throw a little sound clip for y'all send it
like I said, savage. But um, so yeah, so he was a little, he was a little, he was a little down. He wants that real throaty, real snappy sound that his sportsman had. So he uh, he was he was a, he was a bit let down. I mean, it sounds really good, but it wasn't quite what he thought it was gonna be. Yours is a lot. Um, what's the word? Snap poppier. Yeah, throatier. Throatier. Yeah, this one's smooth. I mean, I think this look on Carl's face kind of says it all. It just wasn't what he was expecting. But there is good news, and uh, we made a quick call to North Country Boys, Trevor, and um, he gave us a little tip on how to make it sound a whole lot better, and that involves removing the the little turn down pipes I guess they're turn back pipes but um so yeah here's a uh, we'll give you all another test we'll give you all another sound test with the turn down pipes taken off and man does it sound good all right this is RJWC sound test I took off the uh the little downspouts or exhaust tips there because I was very unsatisfied with the sound of this thing um compared to the one on my 1000 Sportsman. But, uh, so let's go ahead here, let's fire it up. All right. This thing sounds like a freaking biblical beast. Ain't that right, Carl? That's right. Well, at first you didn't like the sound, right? Yeah, I did not like the sound. How did it sound? I was ready to throw it away. You ready to throw it away? Yep. What about now? <laughs> now it sounds like a Honda. Now it sounds like a Honda. Yeah, yeah, it Honda. sounds like an old man farting. <laughs> oh, God. Whoa, buddy. Hell yeah. now we're about to do the tune so we're going to go for a quick test drive on the stock setup and see what it feels like and then we're going to go for another ride after we do the stage three tune to see what the difference is we got to go for a quick ride yeah if holies come come get us <laughs> bail us out babe <laughs> oh, my on. Hold on. i think this is actually my first time really riding in this thing didn't you ride in it when you're, you broke your four wheeler no oh, run. what are you going to say that for? <laughs> when you buck your four wheeler river run, is that still recording? <laughs> Fortunately, yes. Yeah, I rode in it when I broke my four wheeler. I, I forgot. Yeah, but this thing's awesome. What's that? I haven't drove it yet. Oh, yeah?
Yeah. So, did you hear us? <laughs> All right, so along with this exhaust, Carl wasn't running a tuner or a fuel controller. He opted for this Dynajet right here. So we're going to, we got a new tune from RBS Performance. They got it all set up for the tires and for the, for the exhaust, the snorkels and everything like that. So we're, we're gonna flash a tune on here. So we got the diagnostic port plugged in. And now we're gonna go to select the tune file. Here we go, stage three RVS. This is his state, his tune right here. So I get you click on that. File stage tune, tuner RVS performance. Da, 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 da. Let's start to flash the ECU. Pair the device to the connected vehicle. Press continue. I don't know what that means. File cleanup. Yes. Delete incompatible STK and DJT files. Huh. Well. We'll get back to you. Fucking. Uh, All right, so I don't know what the deal was going on, but I just hit it again. I tried to get it to work, so it's rewriting the ECU right now. It's flashing it to stage three. Flashing it. Flashing it. Can I flash it? Well, if you want to. Don't flash it. <laughs> Can you flash it. All right, now it's just a waiting game, and this thing's gonna have five million horsepower. Five million horsepower. Probably not five million. Very small horses. Tiny small, horses. Little, little, little bitty horses. Ponies. Oh my gosh. I, Debbie, I said, I don't like these tires. I want more, more tires. I told Debbie, I said, I don't like these tires. I want more tires. And she's like, yeah, I get no more fucking tires. <laughs> these tires work fine. This isn't, even, this, this isn't even your bike. I know, but I don't like her tires. <laughs> she said her tires are just fine. Exactly, her tires are just fine. Settle down, buddy. I like your mimicry of her voice. I've never heard her sound like that. <laughs> this is the Esposa Brapo. Esposa Brapo. No es el Brapo. Esposa. I think when we give Jordan's old tires to Matt, the guy that's got that Pioneer. Oh, right, right, yeah. Because his tires are shit. Might as well. Matt, your tires are shit. Matt. Matt, if you see this, your tires are shit. Really didn't need the extra power. But I had to program it for the fuel, man. Had to program it. For, yeah, exactly. It wasn't. It wasn't for more power or nothing like that. We're not doing it or nothing like that. We're just We're going mud holes. But um, yeah, in order to get it set up for the snorkels and for the exhaust and for the tires, it's technically a stage three tune. So it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm sure we would have kept it stock because it already had plenty of power. These are 34 inch STI Outback Maxes. I think that's really the only thing you have on here. Besides that, the exhaust, you have the, you have the APX AL RJWC. High, high lift or lift. Oh, this has a high lift or lift on it? Three to five inch bracket lift. Okay. Depending on, I got shock therapy shocks. Oh, that's right. I got Super ATV RSA arms. Super ATV arms right there. And I got a rear custom FSI fab. FSI fab, that's right. Rocky. Rocky, Rocky, uh, Stockton, Rocky Blaine. Rocky Blaine at FSI Fab. Hooks it up with these custom uh, rear A arms, whatever you call it. Swing arms. Radius I don't know. rods. Radius rods. There you go. That's the word I was looking for. Okay, let's see what this says. It says flash complete to verify turn key off, then to the on position. So turn, it, turn it off. Turn it back to the on position. I think we're good.
bike's powerful. You gotta get into it easy. You can't just fucking do it. Can you see him? hear the blow off out popping? Oh, is that what that was? Yeah. You need to let her take it for a drive so she can feel the difference. When you hammer on, you don't have to hammer on it no more. You just put it down about half throttle, uh -huh. and that motherfucker goes. You want to take it for a spin real quick? I'll wreck it. Uh -oh. Go with her. Sure. Let's go. Come on, Jordan, get in. Get in where? Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> so the tune's all tuned? It's all tuned. It's all tuned. It scared the shit out of me. I ain't gonna lie. Really? Yeah. Oh, he scared me at the beginning, too, so... <laughs> Both. The savagery, the pure savagery. I could have moved my truck, I guess. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Good gosh. How's it feel? Good. Has it got enough power now? Yeah. yeah. Can you notice the difference though? Oh yeah. I can't wait to get it really go where I can go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, soggy bottoms on the sandbar. Oh yeah. shit. That'll be fun. Yeah. Damn. That thing, I'm not, my, my heart's still kind of going. I don't know how fast I can get it going. About speed? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll put my helmet on. Yeah, put your helmet on. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, you do need to get harnesses for real. We're going to be seeing how fast it can go. I mean, I'm still going to be cautious. Yeah, oh yeah, of course. I mean, there's, really, there's hardly ever. But my thing is, I like speed, so when I can go straight. Which is effective. Yeah. When I go straight, I'm going to. Yeah, you're going to get it. Don't Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh man. America's finest. We just barely missed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's coming back. Just <laughs>